cooler. Yes, Let's this see. is a change. We've been getting very used to temperatures that are significantly above normal. In fact, October was very warm. Mm -hmm. And now we're looking at a slightly below change fine we've been getting very used to temperatures that are significantly above normal in fact October was very warm mm -hmm. and now we're looking at a slightly below average high temperatures and should be putting the finishes finishing touches on that harvest out there today this is just north of North Mankato farmer finishing up uh, looks like harvesting those soybeans out there made it up to 45 degrees today that's the first time in a while we've uh, been below average for our High 52 was uh, is our average. 36 the overnight low. That's still above average. And look at that average low, 32. We've only gotten down that cold just once this year. So it shows you how unusually warm some of those low temperatures have been this year so far. Record low, 11, set in 1966. No rain in the sunrise and sunset tomorrow will give us only 10 hours and eight minutes of daylight. Right now it's 39 degrees and the temperature is dropping. The winds are northeast at 13, and that does add a bit of a wind chill to the air, too. Skies are clear, and uh, from now on, I think I'm going to start putting wind chills on these because definitely that is a significant factor tonight, uh, probably down there into the teens or lower 20s in most places for wind chills. Upper 30s for actual temperatures, though. We're looking at mid, uh, mid 40s down in Iowa where there are still a few more clouds down here. It's 45 in Algona and 37 in Worthington. Areas off to the southwest do have a little bit of a cloud cover. As we look farther out to parts of Nebraska, it's only 33 right now with nor in North Platte, and there's a very cold rain and snow mixture falling in western Nebraska into eastern Colorado. Yes, winter has arrived in some of these areas, and you can see it. There is a low pressure system, in fact, sort of two areas right now. One of them scooting off to our south in southern Missouri, and another area coming into the western Rockies spreading rain and snow into the high plains. And you can see here, we were, were kind of saved by this high pressure up in Canada. There is some dry air circulating around it, and we have northeasterly winds, and it's bringing that dry air in, keeping the clouds away from us and just barely away, though, because we have them just off to our southwest. You can see rain and snow underneath those clouds in the plains. You can see sort of this first area of rain is moving off to the east into the Ohio Valley. This second area of rain and snow mixed is developing. In fact, there are snow advisories for tonight as close as south central and or southwest into west central South Dakota for uh, actual accumulations of snow. This first snowfall system is actually going to our south. And by the time it leaves the high plains, it's going to be a little too warm for snow. But you see it here. We have rain off to the south. We'll see mostly sunny skies tomorrow. If you drive south into Iowa, or especially uh, the central part and into the south too, you'll have clouds and even a chance of some rain in southern Iowa. Then the cold high pressure system sort of winds out and presses these clouds down to the south, even farther south than Iowa. But then later on, the system will start to take over again and we'll have a chance of some precipitation later on this week. Lows tonight, are going to be in the 20s up north under the clear skies and 30s where those clouds hang around for a little bit longer. Tonight, clear north, partly cloudy south, 25 in the north, 30 in the south. Northeast winds at 10 to 18. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, only about 42 for the high temperature with northeast winds continuing at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the extended outlook for Wednesday through Saturday, that high pressure system still hangs tough Wednesday, Thursday, and even into Friday a little bit. But... On Saturday, we do see a chance of uh, rain or snow, probably very light. Most of that system will probably, again, head to our south. The storm track is continuing to take systems mostly to our south, and that will continue to be the case. But uh, mm. first chance of light precipitation comes in on Saturday. Mm, those clouds, do they keep it kind of cool, too? Um, no, it's just I mean a, the, the fact that it's a cold air mass. Oh. Yeah, cold air mass. In fact, the coldest one we've had so far this year. Really? Mm. Fair. Feels yep. like it in here. Yeah. Harry, <laughs> that Vikings game was pretty Pretty sad. Pretty well, sad. you know, the Vikings were the 29th ranked defense in the NFL last year. That's the only one from the bottom. And one of the reasons they couldn't stop the run or the pass, really. But yesterday kind of a, brought up memories of a year ago. Boy, they, 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 the Bucks ran all over them, and you can't win football games that way. We'll take a look back and tell you what's ahead in just a moment.